As part of efforts to mitigate political violence during and after the forthcoming general elections across the country, Global Peace Foundation Nigeria has called on all Nigerians to join hands against any form of electoral violence and political challenges by ensuring peaceful and transparent polls in 2023. They say political violence has negative impact on democratic systems and the economy. Speaking at the inauguration of Kaduna State Peace and Mediation Working Committee, KSPMC in Kaduna, Country Director, Global Peace Foundation Nigeria, Reverend Dr. Joseph Hayab says, peace, unity are panacea to growth and development of any nation. Any report of tension anywhere, they will go and mitigate because we believe that the credibility of our election is when it is violence-free. If our election is not violence-free, then we begin to think that the person who won probably did not win, he actually just manipulated and win. We want leaders that we can trust. We want leaders that will be accountable to us. That's why we do not like violence before, during, and after our elections. Also, Chairman of Cardinal Peace and Mediation Working Committee, Beatrice Dangiwa, says there is need for all to champion the cause towards peaceful elections while calling on Nigerians and politicians to shun politics of bitterness and hate speech capable to undermine security and democracy of the nation. Everything about bitterness, all the use of hate speech should be discouraged. We we'll want to talk about that one. And like good Lord Jonathan say, his political ambition does not want the blood of anybody in Nigeria to die for. So these are things we are going to use to tell our brothers and sisters and the politicians to be careful in what they are doing. And in election, we want to encourage everybody who wants to vote, not to solely to sell his right. Uh, it's all about the election, the forthcoming election. Uh, we are looking at uh, a situation where we can mobilize people, uh, talk to all stakeholders to imbibe peace, you know, so that we can have a peaceful and credible election.